Las Vegas, Nevada, pirate ships engage in warplay in front of a casino to entertain the tourists. A bizarre war fantasy or a reflection of reality? In the 1991 Gulf War, new radioactive weaponry called depleted uranium was tested in warfare for the first time in the lands of Iraq and Kuwait. The consequences of using this new weaponry are ongoing and far-reaching. This is the story of three large groups of people caught in uranium cycle of destruction. The Iraqi people, the Gulf War veterans, and the Native Americans of the Southwest, who at the beginning of the cycle, mined underground for the deadly product of uranium. In the New World Order drive for profits, global control of resources, and power, people are exploited, experimented on, and targeted soldier or civilian, adult or child, people of the East and people of the West. We always knew that uranium was to be left in the ground and we were given the choice between the yellow cake of uranium, which holds the negative elements of life, and the corn pollen, which is the positive elements of, um, of life and creation. The land becomes barren, the air becomes polluted, the water becomes undrinkable, we cannot raise our animals anymore, our children are beginning to be born with deformities in uh, cluster areas. All this stuff has come from native people's land. This uranium was mined from native people's land and now they're making weapons and now they're making bombs to, to see which country is the most powerful in the world. And uh, we feel that this uranium mining should no longer exist on native people's land. And nowadays these uh, nuclear wastes are being made into another sort of weapon and this is what was used during the Gulf War in the Middle East against innocent people again. The, the evidence that we presented in court against the United States, which was against the Atomic Energy Commission, uh, was overwhelming. Uh, they knew their health people their medical people knew at the very beginning uh, about the risks that uh, the miners would be subjected to. In 1995, a commission on ethics was formed by the Clinton administration that looked into the history of how the Native American uranium miners have been treated by U.S. government agencies and the uranium mining companies. One of the findings was that the uranium miners were used as guinea pigs in an, in, in an experiment, that they were used as experimental animals and that the government knew and uh, this merely confirmed, of course, what some of us had known all these years. But here you had a presidential commission that just flatly said these, these people were used as, as experimental animals. Not only did the uranium miners suffer from silicosis, a health problem related to the inhalation of dust, but they suffered from exposure to radiation. Well, 
He said that um, when they used to uh, bless, you know, those um, uraniums, and it's like um, when you, it was just really dusty in there, you know, when you blast that thing and it just gets up in the air, or when you take it out of the mine and put it in a dump truck or something like that, and it's just, turns into like a greenish color or so like a reddish color and you can see the color in it and it just was dust all over the place like that and it really smelled and stinks and that's what they were breathing in in there. Um, he said that um, the people that he worked for, the management and the farmers so whoever were in charge there, he said they never, you know, they were they never told them what was going to happen. But, you know, when they went to get their pay, they were all nice and they were polite and everything, you know, about it. But there was a person, I guess they called safety man, and I guess he assumed that he was the one that is supposed to be telling, that, telling them, you know, how it's going to affect their life later on. But um, I guess that man never said anything about that. So he was wondering why things like that, you know, he was never told now to this day. In the case of uh, our uranium miners, the damage is caused by inhalation of the radiation. Now, the lining of the lung consists of cells that are turning over rapidly. They're dividing frequently. And so they're susceptible to radiation damage. Radiation affects the DNA of the cells, their genetic code, and can cause changes in the genetic code, which then uh, lead to a cancer. We have a, a generation of Navajo widows from, uh, from uranium mining, uh, of whom we take care here. And uh, m many of the men who died from uranium mining were in their prime, prime years of their life, prime wage earning time, and many of them were heads of families, often uh, with many children.